We're back today at Focus TV Network with Alexis White, owner of A-List Tutoring. And we're going to talk about getting ready for college. When do we really have to talk to our kids about that? And is freshman year too soon? Alexis, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. I mean, I hate to say it's never too soon, but I guess it's never too soon. And I don't say that to stress people out, but like with anything that's big, the earlier you prep for it, the better it is. Ninth grade is actually a perfect time to start thinking about how are we gonna kind of look to colleges? Now, not in a superficial way, but really helping your children play up their passions and delving further into what that means. So for example, let's say your kid loves playing soccer. Now your kid might be a star soccer player, they might not be a star soccer player, whatever they are, you might say, listen, I know you love to play soccer and I know you're gonna be doing some practice over the summer, let's actually call our local AYSO and see if you can do some refereeing, which is a volunteer position, by the way, and that also gets you volunteer hours very often for your school, but it, it is also something that is community service for college and it's an extension of your passion. Okay. And so what colleges are always looking for is the so what? Okay, so what? You go to a private school or you go to a school that has great access to, you know, to sports, to extracurriculars, X, Y, Z, it's all kind of handed to you. Right. So it's what you do with that privilege and with that power that they give you, how you push it out into the community that they're really looking at. Okay, but I mean, for example, my kids, they're at private school, we're really mm -hmm. privileged. They apparently have great college counselors, but all the moms I talk to are hiring outside college counselors in yeah. ninth grade for their children, why? Well, I sort of liken it to getting a personal trainer. It's one of those things where, could you go to the gym by yourself every day? Yeah, but if you're working with an expert who's giving you that one-on-one -on -one attention, you will probably be the most fit and the most motivated. So when you see an independent counselor, usually starting in ninth grade, if you can do it, you're gonna get that individualized, one-on-one -on -one conversation of the so what. So we're looking at the resume and we're saying, okay, like you love, you love visual arts and photography. You love soccer. You love dance. You're, you have a, you started a babysitting thing in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. How can we put all these things together to make it so that each subsequent summer you're doing sort of the so what and then the so what on top of that to make it the most interesting resume possible. It's also conversations that are mitigating anxiety. So when you actually mm -hmm. sit down with an expert about college, and a child can ask them those questions that maybe they might feel uncomfortable asking their college counselor at school. Like, I hear, or my friends say, or this person told me, is that true? Do I really need a such and such to go to such and such place? And the counselor can go, I'm so happy to hear that that's your dream. Let's put all of our ducks in a row over the next two and a half years to help you achieve that goal. Maybe it's not gonna be exactly that goal, but we can work towards it. Okay. So if you do this in ninth grade, then you're kind of set up for the next years. If you wait until 10th or 11th grade, you're saying it's too late. You've missed the boat on what you need to prepare for like an incredible, you know, application to these really competitive schools. When I start meeting with students in later years, and of course, I'll say it's also never too late. It's always better to get someone on board if you can. Okay. But looking back, the kids will always say to me, oh, I wish I had had you in ninth grade when mm -hmm. I was picking my courses or to motivate me to do better. A lot of times what kids don't understand just coming out of middle school is that the GPA that you get in seventh and eighth grade, okay, that doesn't count. But in ninth grade, that's the GPA you take with you right. through 10th, 11th, and 12th. So the ninth graders are still pretty immature and they're still kind of coasting and whatever. Sure. And then they get to 10th grade and they go, oh. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm, I, even though I'm getting straight A's now, I'm kind of stuck with that GPA that I started in ninth grade and it's gonna average out to not exactly be what I want it to be. Right. So an independent counselor is gonna help you get that extra like umph of motivation to go, look at your options. Look at all these amazing places that are interested in kids like you. If you want this, really put your best feet forward. And you were saying to me earlier that the college counselors at all these schools have like 40 or 50 kids each. Exactly. And so when you have someone like a private consultant like yourself, then you have the attention. So, you know, if you've got a class of 120 kids at a private school, right. yeah, and you, let's say you have, you're lucky enough to have three counselors, each of those counselors has about 40 kids. Right. The nuances of the writing and the and the planning and all of the supplemental essays and all of those things, like 
I text with my kids constantly. You know, they can send me anything they want at 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, six in the morning. Mm -hmm. How does this sound? What if I do this? I was thinking about using this essay for that. What if I change this to that? I'm there for them pretty much 24 seven. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> um, <laughs> sometimes I take a little nap when I'm putting my kids to bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> but it's like, but it's you're on call, on you're call. there all the time. And, and that's what teenagers, you know, they're used to immediacy and that's right. that's the way of the world right now. Right. Um, and not that these counselors aren't fantastic because they are, but they're not superhuman. No, of course not. And if you want but to you have are. that, I, I try. <laughs> I try. If you want to have that attention, then you got to hire the superhuman, the superhero. Oh, wow. Okay, so it sounds to me like to reduce anxiety, because to me, I was thinking, wow, this is stressful to get a college counselor in ninth grade, but that right. actually reduces your anxiety and then sets up the stage for your child to follow the correct path rather than saying, oh, gosh, we waited and it's too late and now. Exactly. Having that extra person, having an expert in your corner is never a bad thing. Right. Right. And they're there to bolster whatever your school is doing or not doing to get your kid into the best place that they need to be. All right. Thank you, Alexis. You're so welcome. Again, a world of knowledge. Thank you for being here with us. You're so Great welcome. I love it. You. Have me anytime. Yes, thank you. And you saw it right here at Focus TV Network. We were talking to Alexis White from A-List Tutoring about why it's so important to get your kids in with a college counselor freshman year. Don't wait. Run. <laughs> mm.